Hey guys, it's Santi Radio. So tonight's topic is this. Kuki wo yomu. Reading atmosphere. Okay. Have you ever heard this means? Kuki wo yomu. Reading atmosphere. It's an essential part of our culture. Japanese culture. If you understand this concept and then how you read atmosphere in this country, in this culture, your communication with Japanese people or if you watching Japanese anime, you understand it far better. Yeah, so、um, yeah, please enjoy. Yeah. Anyway, so this radio is about Japanese t o p i c whatever. So if you have any interest, please subscribe, okay, before you watch. Okay, so as usual, I got a comment. So、uh, let me share this. Her name is Erika. Thanks, Erika. And she said, for your next video,、uh, radio, can you talk about Kuki wo Yomo? Kuki wo Yomo. Yeah. Living in America, We are usually told to be open about our feelings. So, when watching Terrace House, the Terrace House is Japanese the reality TV show. You know, guy, girls, you know, live in the same house, you know, fall in love, dump each other, whatever, that kind of thing, right? It was surprising to hear what the commentator said because we don't really have that in our culture. Yeah. So, seems like in Terrace House, The commentator was talking about kuki wo yomi o manai, I think.、Hmm. Anyway, and then she said, because we don't have that in our culture, in American culture, I think. That's it. Thanks, Erika. Okay, so、uh, tonight in this video, radio, first, I want to just share you that concept of kuki wo yom. So if you have ever heard about this concept, please check with your own understanding and my explanation, okay? And if you have anything, Please leave it in the comment, okay? I'm gonna answer if I have a chance. And then after I explain this, you understand totally and holistically the concept of kukyo yomu and how to do that, all right, in this culture with the Japanese people, okay? You understand it. And let's go back to her question, okay? Her comment in the end, okay? So, first, concept, and then her question, okay? All right, so first, the concept. When you hear, when you see, When you face the new terminology, new phrase, especially it's from、uh, outside the country, you know, overseas concept, before you understand the meaning, okay, in this case, read atmosphere. This is direct translation, right, in English, right? Before you understand this read atmosphere, you want to clarify that. What is the definition of kuki in yomu? Right? Wo is a pronoun, so don't worry. Uh, preposition, yeah. So,、uh, do, don't worry about this, yeah. But just as a kuki is noun and yomu is a verb,、uh, verb, right? So, you want to make sure that what the mean is, right? Crystal clear, you have to know this definition. Then you understand kuki wo yomu meanings, okay? Yes, it means read atmosphere, but what is the atmosphere? What do you mean read? That's the point, okay? So,、uh, let me explain this, okay? With a Japanese understanding concept, okay? So, first, let me divide into two words. First of all, kuki. This one, yeah? Kuki. It means, it literally means air. Kuki means air. Air, right? Air, right? However, as you can see, it's atmosphere, right? It's different meaning, right? Air, atmosphere, different, right? So, kuki has many meanings in this case, not only atmosphere, right? And yomu. Literally means read. Yomu. Okay? So it is this read in English. However, in this case, yomu could be different too, like a feel or notice. Many things. Right? So let me just explain. The first one, let's go with the kuki there. It's easier. So, kuki, which is air, atmosphere, let's, let's say there may be one,、uh, two, Three. Three types of kuki. You have to be aware of that, okay? The first of all, person's feelings, all right? Person's feelings. The second,、uh, relationship among people, all right? Relationship among people. And third, situation. Situation, condition, situation, okay? So there are three. So let's go one by one, okay, with example. The first of all, the feelings of 
others, right? Personal feelings. So in this case, it says cookie, but it's more like a people's feelings. So let's say, let's, okay, let's say this, okay? Uh, let's say there is three ladies. One name is Lisa, who just got fired, all right? Two months ago, she got fired. And then she has no job, looking for a job now. But it's tough time, Corona time, you know, so uh, she cannot find a job easily, right? Lisa. Next, Mary. Mary have a job, she has a job, and then she, her life is totally fine, actually even better because of the, you know, her job is doing well, even this term, okay? So Mary. And lastly, Kathy. So Kathy, she just got a job, okay? And then her life is getting better. And lately she got a boyfriend too, you know? Lisa, no boyfriend, okay, let's say. So they met each other two months ago and now you know they uh, they wanted to meet again so uh, this weekend they meet okay let's say when they meet uh, mary talking about so guys how's your life right and kathy start oh my god guys yesterday i got a phone call from google i got a job yay she's so happy right and then everyone is like wow that's great that's nice they talk right what kind of job at the marketing, you know, payment so good, you know, and I have to go to San Francisco, da, 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 da. she's so happy, talk about the blog about whatever she has, right? Then here are the questions. In your country, the situation I just said, right, this one, okay? Is that okay to do? Is it okay? Can Kathy share her life story in this situation in front of Lisa and Mary? In Japan, no, you can't. You know why? Of course, Lisa, she just lost job two months ago. Even though two months ago, she might be suffering now. You have to care about this first before you share your happy information. You know, I got a job at Google. Damn, that's a good job, right? <laughs> so just imagine that. Once Kathy sharing that, Mary, if, if they are Japanese, Mary would feel like this. Oh my God, Kathy, stop, 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 stop. Lisa, she hasn't found a job yet. Oh my God, don't, don't, don't. Don't even show off with whatever you have, you know. If they are Japanese, if they're doing this in Japan, definitely Mary feels so awkward. At the same time, Lisa feels so awkward too because she doesn't know what to do. Because she knows that. Mary knows I lost job. And then uh, Kathy should know that I lost job, but she keep talking about her life, right? It's so awkward. I don't, I'm not, I'm not happy, but I have to be, I have a smile to Kathy and pretend I'm happy. But if I'm doing pretending happy, you know, Mary think that, oh my God, it's so painful to see Lisa is doing this. Oh my God. You know, that kind of awkward too. I don't want to show this kind of me to Mary too. Oh my God, Kathy, fuck you. Seriously, what the fuck? That's how Lisa feels, you know? This situation is so bad in Japan because Kathy didn't read atmosphere, which means didn't feel, didn't feel, care about Lisa's feelings. In America, if you do that, maybe they say, oh my God, I'm, Kathy might say, oh my God, sorry, Lisa. Yeah, I know you're looking for a job. Don't worry, you're a great lady. You can find a job. Yes, with a smile. I've seen this kind of scene often. Like they just end up with a smiling, don't worry, you're great. You must be happy. Trust me, you get a good job, yeah. And they give you a word. But in Japan, if Kathy do that to Lisa, it's kind of offensive. Like, are you fucking serious? You know what, pointing out that I don't have a job again? You know what I mean? It's not because Lisa's feeling, uh, personality is twisted. It's not like that. It's simply, it's kind of offensive in our culture because she keep not reading atmosphere, <laughs> you know, from the beginning to the end. Seriously, at the point she find out, oh my god, oops, she lost job two months ago. I'm not sure yet she got a job yet, so uh, I think I should change job. So Mary, so how's your life? She can change, right? Without asking, talking to Lisa about this, right? That's, she read the atmosphere in this case, okay? So again, first, uh, first point, okay? Notice, feel, care, others' person, others feeling. That's the first kukyoyam, okay? This is very common. Next, kukyom is relationship among people. 
this is classic too, all right? Let me give you an example, okay? Let's say there are five people, all right? Five people, okay? So you guys are in a company working for the same department, let's say marketing department, all right? Your name is uh, Mike, yeah? You are Mike, and you're, you're like a middle class, all right? And then you have a senior, and then uh, you have, okay, let's say you have a uh, president, and you have manager, okay, president, manager, Mike, and his colleague, his name is David, and then subordinate, right? President, highest rank, okay, president, manager, and Mike, and same level, David, and as colleague, okay, and subordinate, one subordinate, okay? Let's say you have five people in the team, right? Let's say if it's happening in, in, in Japan, okay? What is the reading atmosphere in this case? So, uh, relationship among people, right? Let's say in this um, um, uh, in a meeting, manager, manager said, guys, we have to f we have to make a new product for next year. Our current product is not doing well. You know, we're losing sales and profit is decreasing too. Seriously, we have to talk to investors. Seriously, we gotta find out the how can we boost up our sales. We need a new product. Guys, do you have any idea? Yeah, let's say the manager, you know, just ask the questions. Mike has idea. I have, I have things. How about we deploy, you know, we, we make this kind of products. Let's say iPad, iPad. What do you think? iPad is good because, uh, you know, lately people love tablets and stuff. So what we can make iPad, you know, it sounds nice, right? iPad, right? And manager. Manager, if he feel like mm, iPad now, I mean the other companies already so I mean they they're selling that those tablets. Should we should we just same things? You know, so when you when you feel when you when you heard that from manager, you know that you know okay he's not really into this idea, right? So what would you do? What would you do? Yeah, <laughs> you'd be like a. Uh, are you gonna pursue your iPad idea or are you just quiet? It depends, right? You can say whatever you want. You can explain more why you think so, or you just say, yeah, actually, yeah, let's go next idea. But let's say like this. If, but you know what? I, but last time I talked to President and he, yeah, pre Mr. President, you, I think you told me too the iPad is nice, right? And President said, yeah. You know what? It still have a chance for us. You know, even though we are kind of late to get into the market, the market, right? I think it's definitely feasible. Let's try this. And what the my uh, what the manager would do? Yeah, I think we should try this. That read atmosphere. Do you understand this? Okay. I think you see this in America too, mm. especially if you are working in a big corporate. They're easily ch easily they change their mind. You know, because of the boss or clients say whatever, you know, to get more benefits, right? Own benefits. But in Japanese case, a bit more complicated, okay? A bit more complicated, all right? So another example, all right? Reading atmosphere um, among people, okay? And let's say like this. Let's say, um, okay, same level, same example, okay? President, manager, Mike, David, and subordinate, okay? Let's say you are the one, Mike, yeah, you're the one, yeah, and you, you're, you're doing like a facilitator. You're just conducting this meeting, you know, and the president, ma ma manager, David, your colleague, and subordinate listening, you know, you, how you facilitate. And when, you, when you're talking to this, yeah, okay, guys, we have to find a new product, uh, you know, make a new product for next year. What do you think? Right? What do you think? If you really care about that relationship of, among people, who do you ask first? Who? Obviously, president, right? President. Who's the next manager? Who's next? David. Who's next? Subordinate. That's it. <laughs> All right. That's that, that's clear things. All right. Because in Japan, like, hierarchy is so so important. Very important, all right. Very important. Therefore, therefore, if you have some hierarchy here, clear hierarchy, like a, a president, manager, 
and colleague and so on and this okay you just you gotta follow this simply follow this that's the things that is the things but i think it is totally uh, it's possible to understand right for american people too about this case but what about seniority what makes japanese reading atmosphere so complicated because we have other x2 variables which is seniority okay based on this hierarchy understanding your yeah, concept we have other stuff which is seniority let's say let's say let's say president is a oldest guy okay let's say he's a 60 years old manager let's say he's a 30 years old right and david uh, under him let's say he's a 40 years old he has more experience right but he's kind of younger uh lower, lower class than the manager manager 30 years old david now is 40 years old and subordinate let's say he's 25 years old now here manager and david is twisted right about the seniority because he's younger and david's the elder so as a facilitator what would you do what would you do if i were if i were the facilitator if i have only these informations first of all i would ask president because no matter what he's highest rank and at the same time elder so i ask president so mr president any idea how we conduct with this uh these things i will do and next I wouldn't go to manager, I would go to the guy who is the elder one, have more experience. Because I recognize his exper expertise and a longer career in this uh, industry, at the same time he's elder. So I personally feel that I should care him more in this case. Even though this guy is younger, but he, a manager, but he's younger. Okay. Then I would ask the manager. And lastly, I'll ask subordinate. Do you understand this? Yeah. So I'm not saying like this is a rule in Japan, okay? It so totally depends. It totally depends on the company and the people. However, I personally feel that in this country where there's hierarchy, seniority, yeah, that's two things you have to be careful. Read the atmosphere. You have to care this, okay? And you have to decide which one should ha ha has a higher priority in this case all right you have to understand and think about it and then give it a shot okay I, but however again i personally always have higher priority on the seniority the age and then rank mm. because we are not like south korean people south korea they always uh you know like uh, age matters you know uh, not like um even though they are younger guys and then if they're if they're in front of the elder people they're really acting nicely you know even though they are like a higher class i think because the showing respect to the elders is strong you know cultures in, in uh, south korea we don't have that strong one in japan but still we have compared to western countries therefore if i were in this case i would definitely higher priority in this seniority do you understand this yes i just shared now in uh uh, that in, in uh, a very clear example where there is a hierarchy which is rank right it's very easy to see president is the first next manager and next this this right it's easy to see but the difficult this difficult one is when you are with when you are with like a same caliber let's say we are all same guys you know all same levels yeah how would you read atmosphere yeah what would you do okay the other example then Let's say there are five people, okay? Five people. There is no hierarchy this time. Let's say you guys are friends. Just imagine, you guys are friends, okay? And then, and then, okay. Um, okay, how about this? How about this? Okay. So let's, okay, there are three people, okay? Three people. Lisa, Mary, Kathy again, okay? Three people, okay? Let's say they are studying Japanese, right? they are studying japanese and they started to japanese uh, study japanese not the same time lisa studied japanese like five years ago she even been to japan for what two or three years okay and mary kathy just started lately she found they found out anime and some other subcultures so nice and they start 
have interest in Japanese, right? So they're learning, right? So in this case, Lisa kind of fluent and she been there, lived there before. And then those two, not yet, right? Let's say they met, you know, on the weekend, talk about the cartoon of anime they like or the celebrity they really follow, right? And Kathy start talking about, oh my God, guys, I lately I learned in Japanese, you know, do you know how to say this? Kuki wo yomu, you know, it means that read atmosphere. It's like an atmosphere that, so Kathy started bragging about her knowledge, right? Then question, is it okay for Kathy to do this in your country? <laughs> I think it is okay. However, in Japan, sometimes no, no. I th I'm not saying always, but sometimes no. Well, sometimes it's humiliating because, let's take a look. In this case, they're all same caliber, right? There is no hierarchy, nothing, right? Same caliber. Say, let's say same age, same sex, right? But difference is Lisa has more ex experience, but she's not that fluent, but she has more experience in this case. And Kathy, Mary, they just started. But Kathy talking about the Japanese language as she knows it. Okay? If she does that in Japan, in Japanese community, it looks so humid. It, it looks so bad, to be honest. Mary, definitely she thinks like this. Oh my God, Kathy, are you serious? You're talking like you know it, but you just started last month. I know you uh, you watch some Santi's radio, whatever, but come on, it's just radio. On the other hand, Lisa, she's been to Japan. She had some Japanese boyfriends over there. She enjoyed life and she speaks some level. She's not advanced. She's not like intermediate. She's advanced level. Seriously. Oh my gosh, she looks so bad. You know what I mean? How can you talk like this? Too much confidence. That's how Mary would feel if she is Japanese in Japanese community. And Lisa is also feel bad too. Oh my God, Kathy is talking like, every, like she knows it, but I know she's wrong. I can't say this, but she, way, the way she talked like so calm, with confidence, should I mention about this? No, I shouldn't. Oh my God. And I, even worse, Mary noticed that too. She's wrong. What the fuck should I do this? Oh my God, Kathy, she can't read the atmosphere. That's how it is. Do you understand this? Do you understand this? Yes. The other example, all right? Too much? Okay, if you don't want, don't worry. <laughs> Let me give you more, okay? The other example, okay? So reading atmosphere in, among people, okay? So let's say there are three guys, okay? Let's say Mike, David, no, 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 no okay. Um, my case, okay, my case. I wanna show you my, my case, okay? It's happened to me often, like, since I'm doing this kind of work, right, a job as consultant or lecturer, and I go to companies and I talk in front of participants, which is uh, who, who who is who are like uh, the employees of that company, right? Some have a great career, some doesn't, right? So it totally depends on the companies I go. Sometimes there are people have partic participants this time and talk like a they, like a Kathy in this case, they know everything. Yes, I, hey Santi, yes, about to be really. Uh, good at communication with uh, foreigners. I think we should do this, we should do that, da, 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 da. She talks in Japanese, by the way. And then I, of course, ask, so uh, Tanaka-san, do you have any experience overseas? He said, yes, I have. You have big contest. You know what? And he said, you know what? It's not too long, but you know what? I have really good experience overseas. I've been to Australia for three months. Yeah, I know, it's kind of long, but <laughs> yes. You know what? That time really gave me you know, opportunity to think about it, you know, as a person and as a global citizen, you know what I mean? And I learned language and whatever. He talks like this. He talks yeah, with confidence, you know what I mean? Again, that's Kathy. And then, what should I do? God, man, I got the bachelor degree, MBA overseas, and I worked in the Emirates for two years. What the fuck, man, seriously? How should I respond to this? <laughs> you know what I mean? I know it's okay to, have, to be confident, but after he said that, I don't want to share my stuff because it's going to hurt his feelings. What well, he has this, what I have that, you know what I mean? I want to crush his confidence too. And he looks so bad, he loses face in front of people. Do you understand this? Now I'm reading atmosphere. Do you understand this? 
Okay, okay, I want you to understand this. I know it's kind of difficult. Uh, welcome to Japan, all right? Anyway, so that is it. So uh, now I just gave you a very simple example about, you know, uh, the same caliber, but different experience uh, level, whatever. And then well, before you talk with confidence, you want to think about the opponent first. In this case, that Tanaka-san, he could say like this. I know my experience is a bit limited, not like yours, Santi, but I went to Australia for three months. If he said that in the front, it makes me easy to share my experience too. Oh, when I was in Ireland, I did this with my Irish friend, da, 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 da. I could say, but after he talked like he's master of English, how should I react? When I, whatever I talk, it's totally over whatever he has. And then he looks bad. Seriously, he makes me think like read the atmosphere too much. He make me pressure now. Do you understand this? That's why he's not good. He can't read the atmosphere. KY. Do you understand this? So in this case, Kathy and that Tanaka-san is the one who can't read the atmosphere. Because they makes us, others, feel, oh my god, what should I do? How should I react without hurting him? Makes me like us like this. Do you understand this? So that's why you always you have to be careful though, like when you talk, how you talk. Alright? I know you're fed up already, but come on. Lastly. Last one is important. Situation, okay? So let's recap, okay? The first, read the atmosphere. Is atmosphere could be like a person's feeling, right? Second, reading the relationship among people, background of people who are there, right? And lastly, it's kind of similar to second one, but lastly is situation. Kuki could be situation too, right? So that situation, I always talk in this channel like public eye. That's a concept, okay? How you are seen, how you, how you see others in, uh, in public, or how you are seen by others. That concept, okay? Let me give the example, okay? Let's say you have a friend. His name is Mike. The Mike came from New York and uh, visiting Japan for, uh, for uh, traveling, whatever. And you and Mike went to Shinjuku and shopping, sightseeing, Godzilla, whatever, and joining the day. And it's about lunchtime, right? And uh, I, Santi, wanted, wanted to uh, take Mike to the, uh, the nice buildings, you know? Uh, let's say Hyatt Hotel, okay, Hyatt. Okay. There's a Hyatt Regency, I think. There's a hotel. It's really nice view too. If you take a look, if you go up there, you can see nice view of Shinjuku, all right? Scenery. So I wanted him to the top. Therefore, we're just waiting for the elevator. We we just got into elevator. We just press the button to the highest floor, you know, and door closed, right? Let's say in that elevator, let about four or five other people are there too. Just imagine, okay? And suddenly, Mike starts saying like this. Hey, Sandy, so I'm kind of hungry. Can we eat something right now? In the tiny elevator. Okay, that's the question. Is that okay in your country? <laughs> in Japan? Fuck no. No. It just makes me feel bad, right? Because, uh, again, it is a totally concept of public eye, right? So uh, in Japan, if you are sh if you're in public, it's like uh, you are sharing the place with other people. If you, therefore, sharing with other people, therefore, you cannot act in like it's your house. And you might think like, Santi, but just Mike is ask a question about lunch in the elevator. What's wrong with this? Still, it's not good, bro, because it's tiny, tiny, it's closed area, yeah, closed place, yeah, and then if the other five people is there, they are standing, and there's silence, right, but suddenly, Mike talk, so no more silence, it's like Mike is talking to Santi, like, where, like they're in a, Santi's house, you understand this, they are sharing the place with other people, so Mike, should not talk or whisper. Fine, you can whisper. Hey, Santi, can we go outside after this? You can talk and whatever. 
He could. He can. But better, he should shut up. Yeah. Seriously. It, because it's closed, uh, closed place. And then other Japanese people, they feel like this. If you just wait another fucking f one minute, you can go outside of this elevator. You can talk. Why can't you do this? They might feel this way. They might feel this way. And of course, if, if, you, are watch, if you are Japanese watching this channel, you might think, Santi san, it's sort of easy, it's it much too much. Yeah, we, we don't care about, you know, they might say this, you know, if they're Japanese people watching this, they might think that Santi is too much, you know, it's, it's modern, modern Jap Japanese culture, it's not like that. However, come on, if someone talk loudly, they definitely mind though. They do mind. Yeah. Okay. So this is the best example of reading atmosphere. In this case, situation, okay? Situations. You are sharing place with other people. So what if there's only Santi and Moik 